navigate it. Valentino Rossi arrives in the pit lane, ready to go. Yep. So uh, does that mean they're going to bring Nico Muller in imminently? I think it would be a good thing to bring him in as early as they possibly can to get Valentino into the car. The pit lane is empty. <laughs> what you don't want to be doing is a pit stop when the pit lane... Yeah, I mean, we're not talking about his... <laughs> whatever. But anyway, keep the pit lane as free as possible yep. to enable Valentino Rossi to get into the car, Nico Muller get out, and then he, he'll go back into the racetrack when it's relatively clear. Indeed, right, Nico Muller is, I think, in this time. You have the cheers. Oh. Last warning to car eight, track limits. Oh. Next step is drive through. Okay, number eight, Mike Parisi on the, the verge of a drive through. Right, Nico Muller is in, Valentino Rossi in. It's not often in GT World Challenge that you hear the crowd cheer for a driver when he arrives in the pit lane. Valentino gets that honor, and he's about to get into the car. So he'll open the door, and assist there's a there's a netting which is a safety netting which he then quickly released so now Nico Muller will help Valentino get himself into the car you've got a six point seat belt harness you've got to get the crutch strap in position before you can attach the the, the waist belts and then the shoulder straps there'll be radio connections I don't think there's a drinks bottle on board there's the net being reattached that's a safety feature which is mandatory in all cars here this weekend Nico Muller runs back to the WRT garage, his day's work is complete and the refueling is still going on. Remember we saw back, I think, in Barcelona last year, teams being penalised by letting the car off the jacks before the fuel bowser had been removed. There was a clear example of the bowser coming out, then the car comes down to conform to regulation. Uh, there is no pit stop regulation time as such other than the fuel hose must be connected for 40 seconds. So, whatever else you do, the fuel hose must be connected for 40 seconds. Rossi leaves the pits, he's on track. And he's got clear track. Yeah. Nobody behind him immediately, and nobody obviously directly ahead of him. The leaders have just come through the first four cars, but there is Valentino Rossi, first racing lap, and, uh, well, let's enjoy it. Warning flag to car two and car 11, track limits. Now there is Valentino Rossi then, so of course the car drops down the order, but as everybody else cycles through their pit stops, then he will of course gain back places, and as John makes the point, with a clear road ahead of him, he can really push now. Yes he can, and that's a great way to let him build confidence, get back into a race, or start a race I should say, up the hill into Peratella, and look at the concentration on his face, the eyes, I mean, I often, well there's a couple of blinks, a couple of blinks in a couple of seconds, well, down the hill in towards Aqua Minerale, down the gears, turn the, the turn to the left, looking for the apex, just then climbing up over the hill, the back of the car wants to get a little bit wayward, pulls more gears as he climbs up towards Varianti Elta, makes the turn in, and oh, what's that, is that fuel? 